The next form control to learn is circularity. Circularity is often described as the round version of straightness in that it only measures a single cross-section at a time. Circularity specifies a circular tolerance zone or a TZ framed by two concentric circles. For instance, every cross-section of this pin would need to fit inside a 0.3 millimeter tolerance zone. However, there are two important limitations of circularity as a control. The first is that circularity measures how round something is, not what size it is. If a feature, like a pin, needs to be round to 0.08 millimeters, it can pass inspection at almost any size. A straight pin could still have waves like this in it and meet tight circularity tolerances. This wide section is within a 0.08 millimeter circularity TZ, and this narrow section is as well, though the second TZ has a smaller diameter. The second limitation is that circularity, as a form of control, is measuring the roundness of a cross section not in relation to anything else. This means your cylinder could have been terribly assembled like a stack of discs and still pass inspection. Each cross section of this strange pin is circular to spec even though this pin clearly does not look like the intended drawing. Circularity can be useful for non-cylindrical parts that still need to be round. A cone or a handle for a garden tool would each have a series of cross sections that need to be round, but not necessarily the same size. A special use of circularity is calling out the circularity of a sphere, such as a ball bearing. In this case, the cross section plane spins around the center of the sphere and does not stay perpendicular to an axis. For each cross section measured this way, the surface points must fall within a circular TZ.